Awesome combo. That's what we want. Great kickboxing dash. Good job. Keep going. We're here to work. Let's go. We got this. Twenty on the clock. Yes, keep doing that. No worries. We'll get better. Let's show up tomorrow. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at A-plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Magny is seven years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and now it's the second opponent fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 24 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Neil Magny. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, nice right hand, John. 
Watch it. There's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedown, he was secure. Let's see what he does from this position. Oh, my God. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, El Diablo! And there is the man of the moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.